Okay, your reading time is finished, so you may now start writing. Down your pens and leave your answer booklets on the desk. Excuse me, Ni Hao, the exam's over. Hey! Gross production revenue. Hey? Answer to question five. Took him long enough to work it out. I didn't even notice the girl dying at the next desk. What about your bloke? No genius. Says it's not uncommon for students to fall asleep during exams, especially if they've been hitting the books hard or partying. Detectives. What do you got there, Hamish? Can't be sure till we biopsy the liver, but it is possible she ingested a toxic substance. What, from this? That's poisonous. Suck it and see, as they say. I'll uh, get the results ASAP. Wouldn't she have realised something was wrong? Felt sick at least? Maybe she didn't want to cause a disturbance. So she just put her head down on the desk and quietly died. Now consider it. Good news is we have 29 witnesses. Bad news is we're going to need five different types of interpreter to take their statements. How's your Urdu, Sarge? Mm. Uh, the victim's flask contained a herbal tea. Pathologists suspect that it may have been laced with poison. The flask had a logo on it. Traditional Chinese medicine clinic could be the source of the tea. Accidental contamination, medical malpractice. Both possibilities. The flask could have been spiked. Why? The place is a private uni, Sarge. It only takes international students and the stakes are high. And the better your results, the greater your chance of PR. Yeah, permanent residency. Yeah, goodbye Beijing, hello Baldwin. I mean, the dead girl Roxy Chua, she could have been a standout student. And maybe someone bettered their chances by bumping her off. And this place costs a bomb. And these kids are under a lot of pressure from home to make sure it's worth the sacrifice. So this is academic competition taken to the extremes. We'll see. Uh, pathology going to put a rush on the tox report. OK. Simon, take Matt, get over to this Chinese medicine place. Make sure they're not dispensing toxic tea left, right and centre. Duncan, next of kin. Uh, not yet. Roxy Chua lives in student accommodation. Maybe she has a flatmate that can help us. Good, so get over there for now. <laughs> So we'll be with you shortly. Oh, great, thank you very much. Cheers. Ah, oh, Jasmine, tell you can't beat it. It's good for the skin. Given why we're here, you think it's wise to drink this? Can I help you? Police, Dr. So, Detectives Ryan and Joyner. We have some questions about your business. Questions? Why? I've heard no complaints. Who's been talking to you? Dr. So, do you recognize this woman? Yes. She comes in often. No appointment. She just buys my decoctions, some teas, tonic. She was here last night. Now she's made a complaint? Dr. So, this woman died today. After drinking one of your herbal teas. That's a serious accusation. What's your quality control like? Everything made on the premises or imported? Detective, if you analyse my products, you will find only natural extracts that benefit the body, mind and spirit. Well, that is exactly what we'd like to do. Analyse your products. We need to arrange to get samples of all your tea stocks for testing. Lily. Dr. Sol. Make sure these gentlemen get what they need. It's sad this lady has died, but it has nothing to do with me. Living in a bento box. 
Better than boarding with your hippie auntie who smokes mull and wants to tell you all about her sex life. Hello, I'm Detective Mapplethorpe. This is Detective Freeman. Police. We're police. Is this Roxy Chua's apartment? It is, yes. And do you live here, do you? I do, yes. And your name is? Roxy. You're a Roxy Chua. So you didn't know this girl at all? So what's her photo doing on your student ID card? I don't know. What are you studying, Roxy? Business management. I hear it was a pretty tough exam. What'd you put down for question five? Uh, I don't remember. No? Because you weren't there, were you? I made a mistake on my exam schedule. Oh. This schedule? The one with the right time written? Right here? It's confusing, isn't it, Roxy? Different country, different system. Can be overwhelming. And maybe someone offers to help out. Ease the pressure, take an exam for you. A friend? No, I told you I didn't even know her. I just used the service. What service? Well, you phone up, give over your ID, the service finds the right person to take the exam for you. Kindness of their hearts. I paid $300. So this girl shows up, she does the exam, you pass and she gets paid. Is that how it goes? Lots of people do it. Really? Does the university know about that? It isn't my fault. Lectures are too fast and I don't like to ask questions. The uni just says pay up and take the class again. <laughs> Please, don't tell them. I don't want to be sent home. My parents will be so ashamed. You should have thought about that before. Who runs this service? I don't know. Well, how do we find this service, Roxy? Just pull a tag. It wasn't just me. Joe Tao helps everyone. Joe Tao is the most successful education agent in town. And Clark International College is the most popular institution for no frills, no fuss, full fee degrees. It's a symbiotic relationship. Does he work for you or not? Well, Joe receives a commission. He recruits in China and receives a fee for every student that enrolls in CIC. So, what's your interest? We'd like to speak with him. Mr. Tao has come up as someone who may be able to identify the deceased student. How do you know she was a student? We're in the middle of the city here. I mean, it could have been some druggie wandered in off the street looking for somewhere to take a nap. Great uni crap security. Is that what you're saying? Mr. Clark, our evidence suggests that the dead girl was deliberately posing as another student and sitting an exam for money. Yes, Olivia. Just need to know if you're still making your address at three. Yes, absolutely. I'll just finish up with the detectives. Are you letting the students know about the death? God, no. No, 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 she's just my translator. I have a video address to our Beijing office. That's the price of international business. Everything is in bloody Mandarin. Hmm. Look, these kids pay a lot of money to come here, and all they want is their PR or to hoof off back home and run daddy's company. What about the exam scam? Are you saying that you didn't have any idea that was going on? No. No, but it's not, it's not just small places like us. The bigger unis, they're the worst of the lot. What do you mean? Come here. Look down there. You can get the best pork dumplings this side of Shanghai. And these kids are the reason why. This city centre was a dump before the foreign students moved in and now it's like the United Nations. And that is down to blokes like me. And the big unis are spewing. Because I can deliver courses that are faster, cheaper, and my profit margin makes theirs look like a Centrelink check. Joe Tao's a big part of your success. The man is a machine. He could sell a computing course to Bill Gates. Welcome, sausage and bread. Oh, no, thank you. So, we're looking for an Asian guy, right? Well, that should be pretty simple. Well, let's call him. Ah, over there. With a the girl in the snazzy coat. Joe Tao. 
He was asking. Detective Freeman, Detective Mapplethorpe. We've got a few other questions to ask. Yeah? What about? We hear you run the tutoring service. Sorry. I don't get police discounts. Students pay you to find other people to sit their exams for. No. I connect students in need of tutoring with tutors in need of students. Whatever happens next is up to them. That's not what we've heard. Well, that's not my problem, is it? Is this? Do you recognise her? A student said that she paid you to find this girl to sit an exam for her. Now, this girl is dead. Or did I set them up together? For tutoring. So who is she? I think maybe her name is Jing Wei. You can probably look up her address from administration. Thank you. Scouting economics, ESL, IT. Looks like Jing Wei was going to be raking it in come exam time. She'd need to. She owed rent. Pending eviction notice, uni fees, key fee, furniture rental and more. Landlord and school putting on the squeeze. Somehow I don't think Jing Wei and our friend Mr Tao had a 50-50 split. Well, maybe she was asking for a bigger cut and he didn't like it. Or maybe she was just completely over it. Listen to this. You can do it, my friend. It only takes one person to stand up and say cheating is not right. Be strong. An email dated yesterday. Your true friend, Raj. Ah. Sounds like a good guy to know. We should meet him. Wait, Clark's interpreter. Her buddy collapses and dies and the same day she's partying on a rooftop barbecue. <laughs> nice friend. Ooh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. It's like a gunshot to them, they jump out. Brutus once landed in the Commissioner's top pocket. <laughs> so, Campbell, what brings you down to homicide? Last I heard, you were overseeing the clean-up in Undercover. Yes, the current chapter of my career entitled How Not to Win Friends. Hmm. Well, we all have to make unpopular decisions. Comes with climbing the tree. Absolutely. But the clean-out has left me with some opportunities for new blood. Really? Well, I made three submissions for homicide members last year and was fobbed off every time. Would you have their files handy? It's my squad now and I hear you have some talent in the ranks. Bit of kudos for you as well, Bernice. Have a couple of your people undercover trained. Here we go, Detective Senior Constables Mapplethorpe. And Freeman, recommended by Stanley Wolfe. And you? Well, Freeman's file's got more flags than a dawn service. He's clashed with a number of senior members. Not always a bad thing. <laughs> but you'd like to veto? No, I uh, support Wolfe's nomination. I think Freeman would rise to the challenge. And Mapplethorpe? Yes, intelligent, savvy, good operator. In fact, uh, give her a few years, she might even have you looking over your shoulder. Don't need to go overboard, Bernice. Let them know I'll do the interviews tomorrow, get the ball rolling straight away. Right, well, if there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. Yes, I'll keep you posted. Mm -hmm. The victim. Jing Wei comes to Australia to study. She's paying through the nose for it at Clark International College. Um, she's studious, quiet, and she likes exams so much she'll even do other people's for a price. She's the exam sitter, which, as we know from Roxy Chua, is fairly common and organised by this guy, Joe Tao. Although he denies it. Same old story, thick, rich kids buying their way to success. But where does Olivia Leung fit in? She is the interpreter to the university CEO. She's best friends to the exam sitter. And she was sinking beers with this guy at a rooftop barbecue at the university. Mm, popular girl. Yeah, and she could have identified Jing Wei when we confronted Joe Tao, but she let him do that. Uh, uniforms are bringing her in right now. And also the friend, this guy, is Raj Venkatesh. We tracked him down via his email address. We found this email at Jing Wei's, which suggests that Raj knows about her part in the exam scam and that she was maybe about to blow the whistle on it. Just heard from pharmacology. So far, all these samples from the clinic have come back clean. So, if the drink flask was spiked, it had to have happened sometime between when it was purchased and the exam the next day. Yeah, it was spiked, all right. The toxic substance that killed her is confirmed as opium. Ooh, enough to topple a horse. Dead. Do we need to get you a translator, Mr. Venkatesh? Venkatesh. Raj Venkatesh. And I speak better English than you, Detective Joyner. I can't believe this. We were meant to meet her this afternoon, but she wasn't there. Please, what happened to her? 
Why were you and Jingwei meeting up? We were going to see a film straight after our exams. A celebration? Jingwei was your girlfriend? No, of course not. I have a wife back in Delhi. We were just friends. I mean, you have friends, don't you? But just tell me what happened to Jingwei. This morning, during her exam, she collapsed and died. Mr. Venkatesh, can you think of anyone who would want to harm your friend? If the answer is very clear to me. His name is Joe Tao. Through here, please. Thanks, Constable. Stay away from Joe Tao. Hey, what do you think you're doing? This is the number for my controller. I'm an undercover federal officer. Jingwei was an honest person. She felt badly about cheating on the exams, but it was the only way to make the money she needed. When was the last time you saw Jingwei? This morning. She came by my apartment on her way to the exam. What for? To wish me good luck. I had an exam also. All right, how did she feel? Was she relaxed? Was she normal? I was stressed. Like, anxious. I mean, what do you think? She was on her way to an exam. Why do you think Joe Tao would harm Jingwei? Because she was going to confess and report on the exam scam. He killed her to keep her quiet. The federal police want us to pull back on our investigation. Yes. I've been played. By who? Oh, that adolescent upstart who's now running the undercover squad. What, Superintendent Harland? What's he got to do with it? Well, he dropped in on me earlier. Kindly offered to fast track our nominations for the undercover training course. Why would he do that? They knocked us back the last three times. What? So you're saying that they sent him over here to do you a favour so that you would have to bow down and pull back on our investigation? Exactly. He's in tight with the feds. It would suit that ambitious little turd just fine to be showing them what a powerful mover and shaker he is. The feds have no jurisdiction over homicide. What are we supposed to do? Let this young girl's killer get away? No, but we do need to find a way forward that'll give us what we need without tracking mud all over their operation at the university. Yeah, which is what exactly? Oh, apparently Officer Leong is going to give us a limited briefing on that. Very big of them. Well, if they're jumping up and down because we brought in their officer, then let's make it worth it. The primary targets of our federal investigation, Joe Tao and Wade Clark. Clark authorises letters offering placements at his college. Tao goes to China, recruits students. Well, we're across that already, and that's not illegal. True, and some of them actually want to study here. They innocently form the legitimate cover for the others. And the others are involved in some kind of visa fraud? Yes. Tao brings them in on student visas using Wade Clark's college. Clark gets a kickback for these bogus students. Who are really illegal workers. Tao farms them out to factories, bakeries, brothels. Completely at the mercy of their employers. Right. They're slaves. Uh, you're victims of slaves. They're victims of dead. Um, what do you think happens to a slave that can't work? Or gets injured or refuses to work until he gets paid? Tao and his associates are ruthless. Any worker that makes a fuss just disappears. You're saying Joe Tao's a killer? Yes. Just not your killer. Cross towel and you'll find yourself sweating on the sharp end of a switchblade. So how does the exam scam fit in with all this and Jingwei's death? That's homicides look out. I'm not doing a job for you. This uh, Indian guy, Raj Venkatesh. Joe Tao gets his vote for most likely. Are we uh, supposed to ignore that? Could be a tactic. Raj also had the opportunity to spike that flask. Raj isn't a killer. He's a drama queen. He's been running protests and hunger strikes since day one. And how's that relevant? Tao represents everything Raj despises about ripoff private unis, but that doesn't mean Joe Tao killed Jing Wei. The only way we're going to find out is if we get Tao in for questioning. Sure. Then all your homicide questions spook him. He starts ditching all evidence of the crimes he really is doing and bangos any chance I have of nailing him. She has a point. Joe Tao knows that we know about the examination scam. Don't you think he's going to get suspicious if we don't bring him in? Yeah. Oh, what's this about, Sarge? Tomorrow you'll be interviewed by Superintendent Harlan from the undercover squad for entry into their training course. So we'd be qualified to work undercover? Yeah, if you pass the course, that is, yeah. Well, why now? I put my hand up ages ago and I wasn't good enough then. Opportunities have opened up. It would be another string to your bow. 
Hang on, you said tomorrow. That doesn't give us any time to prepare. I can't prepare. You'll be assessed on your personal suitability. Oh, right. Hmm. So, good luck. Answer honestly and see you in the morning. Night, Sarge. And, uh, thanks. Duncan. Yeah, Sarge, um, I don't think we'll be doing the right thing with this case. Investigating Joe Tao why Officer Leung is undercover. What, are you concerned about her or her operation? Well, we could blow everything. You know, her case and ours. She knows that community inside out, and people like Joe Tao, they trust her. And you've got to admit, Sarge, she seems like a smart operator. She presents as one. So if we're going to go against her advice and pursue Joe Tao, then it only makes sense for us to maintain links with her. You know, to give her the heads up on the things that we know. I mean, if this was Jennifer and I undercover, how would you play it? I would bring in Joe Tao. I would be very careful about the questions I asked him, and I'd get on with solving this young woman's death. Joe Tao is the closest thing we have to a suspect in this case. Bring him in first thing tomorrow. International guy. That must be good for your business. Well, Joe, we need to fill in some blanks around the death of Jing Wei. Ask away. How well did you know the deceased? Hardly at all. I meet a lot of students. Well, that's my work. But you knew her well enough to identify from a photograph. And doing so, I helped you. You hired Jing Wei to be a tutor for another student. Why her? I recruit students overseas. I keep records of those students. When a client comes to me for tutoring, I look up my list and contact students with appropriate expertise. And then you have no more contact with student or client? My work is done. Hmm. Well, we don't believe that. We believe that you have a very hands-on approach. We know that you hire students to take exams for others. Sarge? We have a hit on Jingwei's mobile number. This Tao character spoke to her dozens of times during the two-week exam period, including twice on the morning she died. Is that right? What about a witness who says that Jingwei was poisoned because she planned to go public with your exam scam? How can you know what she intended to do? The girl's dead. Besides, if my business is what you say it is, I'll be pretty stupid to kill her in an exam. That would guarantee exposure. Mm, yeah. But maybe the poison was meant to kill her before she got to the exam. Maybe you stuffed up. <laughs> I just stick to what I'm good at. Make money and sell in schools. I work for the good of the student. I don't think you're going to find any student willing to go to court and say that they didn't write their own exam or that, that I was any way involved. Mm. Am I free to go? No, you're free to sit there on your backside until we tell you to go. We need to establish if he had the opportunity to spike the dead girl's dream. Yeah. You watching this slime ball? Mm. Yeah, we were. He's not going to let this one go, Sarge. As soon as he gets out of here, he's going to start snipping off some loose ends. We need to pull Roxy Chur in for her own protection. Roxy, police. Sarge, she's gone. Yeah, I know. Yeah, OK. They've had to kick Joe Tao loose. Hi there. You remember us? Detectives? You want to speak to Dr. So? She's very busy. There was a client who came in the night before last, a young girl called Jing Wei. She's the one who died? Yeah, that's right. Can you remember? Was there anyone with her? No. You didn't see someone waiting outside? A man? Well, the evenings are very busy. Especially at exam time. She was in a hurry and she knew what she wanted. Which was? A special tea. Like a tonic for concentration. Study power is what they all want. They? The students. Do you know a person called Joe Tao? I met him back home. In China? He found me a place at the university, but he's not always a nice person. What do you mean? 
you pay him once in China, then when you get here, you must pay him again. Many students owe Zhou Tao. What happens if you can't pay? You work for him or his friends. Why doesn't someone report him? I heard that some students complained to the university. And they were told they failed their exams. And they lost their visas. That's all I can tell you. More disappeared people. Yeah. Detectives, back again. Dr. So, we're making some more inquiries. You found something in my medicines? No. No? Nothing? We're trying to work out the girl's movements that night and the next morning. Who she was with, where she was going. I told you. She came here, she bought her tonic, she left. And whatever she did next is not my business. You can leave now, too. Please. Any news on Roxy Cure? Still off the radar, Sarge. Not a trace. No answer on a mobile. Neighbours haven't seen her. She missed classes. OK, we'll put out a K-lock on her. Uh, the superintendent's up in Waverley's office. You need to get upstairs for your interviews. Stuff them. We've got to find Roxy Chua. No, we can take care of that. Get up there, get it done, then get back out there. What's this bloody Kaloff going to do? Hey, going up? Yes. Nervous? Nah. You'll be fine. Good luck. Are they in the poo? Stanley's put them up for undercover training, so the secret squirrel squad have come to make sure they got the right stuff. <laughs> but how can we put them up and not us? I don't know. I would have turned it down anyway. Why? It's a great opportunity. You saw that fed yesterday. Totally strung out, spends the day's lying, sucking up to crooks. That's not why I joined up. OK, fine, but why not me? Why Duncan? Ask him. Sarge? Yeah? Uh, can I have a word? Mm. Sure. That, uh, that undercover course, I would have liked the opportunity to put my hand up for it. Oh, that's good to hear, Simon. Well, no, because you already knew that. I said it at my last two performance reviews. And I know it's challenging, but I am committed and I'm ready to move out of my comfort zone. I don't doubt your commitment to the job, Simon. So there is a problem with my method or what? There'll be other opportunities. OK. Any ID yet? All I got was uh, female, Asian, 20 to 30, fatal stabbing. Roxy Chua. We did this to her. We should have protected her. We searched. We put out a kale off. She didn't want to be found. He found her. Duncan, we followed procedure. We are not responsible for this. I've been trying to call you all morning. Roxy Chu was dead. What? She was killed late yesterday. Stabbed and left to die in the gutter. These assholes think they can just take anyone out in the middle of the street. And you're thinking Joe Tao. Two murders, one stabbing, one poisoning. It's unusual for a killer to have two different styles. They're both openly arrogant. Going by what Olivia Leung says, the stabbing sounds like Joe Tao, but the poisoning, that's a completely different MO. And what are you saying? Like two murders, two killers. 
It's Livia. Come on. These photocopies were found on notice boards around the college and in the student apartment buildings this morning. Run them by my controller. None of the names tally up with our known illegal workers. So I thought it could have something to do with your investigation. I've translated the characters for you there, just on the back. Thanks, we'll look into it. We've got our hands full with recent developments. Roxy Chu has been killed late in the city yesterday. What? After we interviewed Joe Tao, Roxy went to ground. Before we could find her, she was fatally stabbed. What time is this? Oh, about six o'clock. She was catching a cab in Chinatown. I told you, I said, don't bring him in, and straight away you do. He was a suspect. You had nothing to link into Jingwei's murder. He may not have been the killer, but he could have led us to them. Oh, so you led Tao to Roxy Chua instead. She was scared out of her mind. So scared she goes and hangs out in Chinatown? She knew I was close to Tao. She was begging me to do something, to, to talk to him for her. You were with her? Yes. She called me. She wanted to meet her. He must have been watching her. If he was watching Roxy Chua, then he would have known that you were with her. And I could be next to get the chop, is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. Hmm. Your concern is noted. The list. What about it? CCTV. You were caught on camera putting it up all over campus last night. So what if I did? Middle of the night. Making sure that no one could see you do it. Yeah, of course. I didn't want to be killed. What does it say? We know it's a bunch of names. Then yeah, what's it about? Okay. Jing Wei kept a record of every person whose exam she took. They didn't know who she was, but she knew who they were. Yeah, how did you end up with it? She left her bag in my apartment that day she died. The list was in it. So remind me, why was Zheng Wei at your apartment the morning of her exam? Oh. She just came to wish me good luck. I had an exam also, and we had breakfast, but she was too stressed to eat anything. What, a good luck breakfast or a morning after breakfast? Uh, detective, are you suggesting that I would be unfaithful to my wife? Well, it happens, Mr. Venkatesh. You're a long way from home, you're lonely. Go too far. Wake up the next morning feeling guilty, decide to put a permanent stop to things. Mr. Venkatesh, did you poison Zheng Wei because you felt guilty about having an affair with hey, her? Detective! While well, you are wasting your time accusing me of these fantasies, her killer is walking around free. This list, you took it upon yourself to copy and distribute. Yes, so George Tao can see that not even murder can stop the truth from coming out. She was exhausted. Every day he'd call saying she had to do more exams. Why couldn't she just say no? How? Oh. Hmm? No one says no to George Tao. Jing Wei was extremely studious. Not even she could memorize all the different course notes. Is that when you sent her the email? I told her enough is enough. Or you'll kill yourself with overwork. Just, you know, confess. Expose the cheats. Expose Joe Tao. He wanted to stop her, so he had her killed. Raj Venkatesh is still singing the same tune. He's the only one who has never changed his story. That doesn't make it true. If we interview every student on this list, we may find one willing to make a statement against Tao. So maybe one of them will have enough guts to stand up and drop him in it. Then we could bring him in again, hold him this time, and put the pressure on him about the poisoning. Sounds like that's our priority, then. Get moving. We don't want to end up with a dozen Roxy Chewers. broken his own record. He's never made seven girls cry in one day before. <laughs> <laughs> and none of them were willing to make a statement? No, they all know what happened to Rossi Chua. Yeah. How about you and Duncan? Oh, we had three that don't speak English. Eight I don't remember, and one whose flatmate failed and dropped down. Joe Tower has got these kids in the palm of his hand. Of course he does. Not only is he in with Clark, who can cancel their enrolment at any moment, he knows where they all come from. Too easy to monster the families back home. You give the game away, he sends the boys around to beat up mum in China. This one that failed. Why is she on the list? Jing Wei still sat the exam for her. And failed. Well, it makes sense. Raj said she was overworked. She was bound to blow one. Better make you pretty mad, wouldn't it? 
I mean, you pay someone to sit your exam and they stuffed it up. Hell yeah. Mad enough for revenge? I mean, it's high stakes for these kids. But how would this student know that Jingwei was the exam sitter? Tao didn't tell his clients. Or well, maybe this time he did. That's the girl from the Chinese medicine clinic. If Duncan's theory is right, she's our girl. Lily Chan works in the clinic. Yeah, she could have easily spiked the drink when she filled the flask. Yeah, she had good reason to be upset with Jingwei. She paid Jingwei to sit the exam, Jingwei failed, Lily didn't get the success she paid for. It's enough to bring her in for questioning, Sergeant. Where does that leave Joe Town? Still in the picture for Roxy Jewel's death. He had motive for killing her. You know, she's the one who gave us a connection between him and the exam scam. And now we know he's ditching evidence of his other operations too, moving illegal workers from known premises. Getting rid of human merchandise. Huh. Yeah, how do we know this? Or surveillance reports, courtesy of our friends in high places. OK, what's the Fed's next move? Blow it all open. Simultaneous raids on Wade Clark's office and businesses supplied with illegal workers by Joe Tao, including a Chinese medicine clinic owned by a Wendy Sol. Thought you'd be interested. I've already made some calls. Homicide will attend the raids. Matt, Simon, you're in the clinic raid. Pick up Lily Chan. Hey, what about Joe Tao? He's still our suspect for the stabbing murder. Well, the raid on the university office aims to net a number of bodies, Mr Tao included. Duncan, you and Jennifer attend that one. Hold back. Let the feds do their job first. Now, I have gone out on a limb to get homicide in on these raids. Don't stuff it up. They're going to get the signal any minute. Maddie, come on. There is a raid about to happen in front of our very eyes. Let's get in there. You heard Waverly last night. She wants us to sit tight. Look, they're going in. Mate, we have our orders. Let them do the hard work. Probably done a course. Yes, here we go. Stop, police! Mr. Clark, the floor's all yours. Thank you, Olivia. Boys, the hell is going on? Stop it! Stop it right now! Stop it right now! Put your gun down! Boys, don't move! Stop it! Get back! Stay away! I'll kill her! Drop the knife! Drop the knife! I'll kill her! Stop it! Hostage situation, Sarge. I'm sure I'll read all the gory details in the shooting team report. The Fed's called. Olivia's being debriefed. Wade Clark and Joe Tao had no idea she was undercover? No, no identity hasn't been compromised at all. Good. You were shocked with your exam results. Yes, that girl. Then you're angry. You went to Joe Tao and demanded your money back. Right so far? He wouldn't give me my money. He said I should see the tutor. And he gave you her name, which you recognise because she's a regular client at the clinic. So? It's a coincidence. It's a coincidence that you were working at the clinic the night that Jingwei rushed in. You made up her tea. You could have added anything you liked to it. Right now, our colleagues are going through everything you own. If there is any trace of opium, the sniffer dogs will find it. OK. OK, fine. What's fine? I pay her to take my exam. To pass. She's our girl. 
but you should get what you pay for. I work so hard on my studies, but they keep on saying it's not good enough. Who did? University? My parents. My father paid a lot of money for me to study here. He said he didn't pay for results as bad as mine, but I try hard. So you decided to buy some success? For $600, Joe Tao guarantee a distinction. 32%. I could do that on my own. And that's why you killed Jing Wei. She came in saying, hurry, hurry, hurry. She had a very important exam to do. Well, my exam was important too. So. I made her some tonic. I put it in her flask. And I added something to teach her a lesson. <laughs> I want to go home. How much my father pay you so I could go home? So, is this home for you? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe my name's not even Olivia. <laughs> okay, my name is Olivia, and this is home. Good. Hey. Yeah? When you do the undercover course, you might see me around. If I get in. If you get in. If I get in. Take me in my sleep. While I'm counting sheep. In the deepest dreams of butterflies with visions of my day.